done well so far in the uh, defensive set pieces. In it comes, and it's headed in. I think it's Aaron Hayden, I'll confirm that in a minute. He just jumped, it sort of come off the back of his head and flew inside the left-hand edge of the net. And the shots are behind in the 40th minute. Aldershot Town nil, Wrexham one. And they have to defend another free kick here. Now, in it comes from Davies, left-footed, headed away by Corey Jordan. Volley comes back in and it deflects off a Wrexham player. Comes back off the post and it's followed up by Lennon, who becomes the second centre-back of the night to score. Thank you very much. I'll bang that in the net. Yeah, yeah, and it was the same with the first goal. Oh, and they're through, through again. again. Ponticelli one-on-one. -on -one. And this time it's saved by Laurie Walker. And from nil-nil, with uh, 39 minutes gone, all the shot were very nearly 3-0 down there. They still could be here as another shot comes in. It's wayward. Hosanna will keep it in. Effort in 57 minutes. That came from Corey Andrews. A half volley which smashed into Ryan Glover. Here's Wrexham coming down the line, pulled back. Stroked home by the right back, Reese Hall Johnson. 3 0 Wrexham, game over, 57 and a half minutes. Yeah, it was an excellent finish from, from Hall Johnson. Timed his run into the box perfectly, just opened his body a little bit and was able to side foot the ball. Uh, I think past the slightly wrong footed Laurie Walker because the ball did go in in the end. It went more in the centre of the goal than in the bottom corner, but. Uh, help me out. A possible way back in for shots here in the 60th minute. Kinsella crosses in, punched away, only as far as Glover. He finds Andrews. Andrews shoots, volleys. Follow-up shot from Mo Silla is brilliantly saved by Dibble. And uh, I don't know what Aldershot Town have got to do to score. Two more well-struck uh, efforts on target. But uh, they tripled their tally for the evening, Steve. Yeah, it was good, good effort considering Dibble's not been on long and, and that was probably his first touch of the ball, really, his first two touches of the ball. Uh, he's done well. Andrews, again, caught it sweetly. Coalkeeper made a strong save and then he was alert to get back up. And now Rexham... Rexham breaking. Ponticelli gets it at the far post, nets it in the top corner and Aldershot, a hit on the counter. Flowing move from one end to the other. Lovely ball inside and that is a terrific finish from Ponticelli right on the hour mark within a minute of Aldershot having a double chance at one end Wrexham score at the other with Ponticelli Aldershot town nil Wrexham four I thought he might start this evening so he uh, uh, he'll be itching to to make an impact another long throw from Tozer he gets his, the trajectory wrong on this one but the ball's headed clear out to Young and back now to Tozer he's going to send it across this time a lovely looking cross it is and another header comes in and another goal for Wrexham and uh, Jordan Davis has got the header. He's one of the more diminutive players. How on earth has he managed to get three there? Um, it's been a difficult evening for everybody. In comes the corner, headed away by Alfie Whittingham. Only as far as Luke Young, referee Sonny Gill, puts his whistle to his mouth and blows it for the last time tonight. Very quick final summary from Mr Steve Gibbs Aldershot Town nil Rex and five Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information Click here for the next video Click here to subscribe